Hey, this is TR. Uh, I've got here a brand new Harley crankshaft that's never been run right out of the box. It was being replaced by one of our dealers and they asked for us to uh, weld it for them. One thing I did want to show you that we are running into with just not the Harley shafts but some of the other shafts, just some of our concerns so that we can kind of educate you on the way things are happening. This is your area right here where your uh, bearing runs in your left case. This is the area right here where your bearing runs in your right. This is your pinion shaft race and this is your sprocket shaft race. So what those are the two areas that we focus on being true and as you can see right now this crankshaft is within a half a thousandth on the sprocket shaft side and virtually three tenths or so on the pinion shaft side. And then what you do is if you move this indicator out to the pin into the pinion shaft where everybody checks them it's about three and a half thousandths out. What that tells us is that this end of this pinion shaft is not ground consistent with this race area here. So what we do is we focus on these two areas because those are the areas that are supported in the, sh in the crankcases. If you try to true this thing perfectly here, you're just manipulating this crankshaft. After it's been in the case and it's run, been RPM'd, it will always go back. You're better to let this run out two or three thousandths and let this be non-manipulated before you weld it. So just a little tech tip. Uh, that's my opinion on that crankshaft stuff. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.